so in this lecture so this is basically a lab session for understanding loops in c so we will learn about looping in c so what does it mean so looping means repeating so we repeat our re e a to repeat a task several times so what benefit do we get so it helps a lot in many ways we can see in the examples so let's see our first example here so which is so we want to print numbers from 1 2 3 4 till say 10 so what we do is that so a for loop is used so we have a for loop and what it has so it has three parts the first part is initialization which happens here so i have int i i is equal to zero so this is initialization i define i is equal to zero then is the test condition so next is test condition so this test okay so what is the condition and has it been satisfied so till i is less than 10 so i will be running this loop and this is the body which is inside the brackets and then i'm doing some work which is here i'm doing print f and i'm doing percentage d and i so this loop what it does so it now runs from so the output will be so it will first go i is equal to 0 and it will print percentage d i so 0 will be printed then i plus plus so now it becomes 1 1 is less than 10 so 1 is printed next i plus plus so it be i becomes 2 2 is also less than 10 so the body again continues it prints 2 this goes down till 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and now i plus plus so i becomes 9 9 is less than 10 so it is printed and after that what happens that i plus plus and 10 is now not less than 10 so it will print till here and this is what we can see here in the output so now let's look at the second example so the second example is this one so here what we do so there's a, a kind of just a small change so what we do is that in the so this is the increment decrement part so this is increment slash decrement part so what happens here is so let's see in this for loop i initialize i is equal to zero and I will always check if i is less than 20 so I will be following this body and one more thing that we need to understand is that we will write a for loop something and then we give braces so the whatever the code is here it is the body of the for loop which is uh, repeated or executed each time till the condition is met and if you don't give any braces so only one line after the for loop will be executed so let's see i is equal to 0 i is less than 20 so till that time code will be executed but now this time the increment which is happening is not i plus plus but is it, it is i is equal to i plus 2 so now what happens is i is 0 initially it prints the value 0 here then i becomes i plus 2 which is now it becomes 2 2 is less than 20 so it goes here it prints 2 now again 2 is less than 20 so 2 i is equal to i plus 2 it becomes 4 and then 4 is printed so similarly it goes like this 6 8 10 and it goes till 18 now i is equal to i plus 2 so i becomes 20 so it will not be printed because it goes out of the loop but if we wanted to print 20 also so we should have given here less than equal to sign 
so this is what we see also 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 and after that we break so because i have not given a printf slash n so it goes into the next for loop output so let's check now the next for loop so what happens in the next for loop is this one so now we are showing another so this is uh, an example of decrement so i do i minus minus because here i was equal to 20 finally so what happens is but here again we initialize and i becomes 10 and till i is greater than 0 this for loop works is executed and we do i minus minus every time so it starts at 10 it prints so it starts at 10 here then it goes to 9 8 7 till 1 and after that when 1 is printed so when we do i minus minus i becomes 0 now 0 is not greater than 0 so it comes out of the for loop so this till here it is printed so next go we go to the next example so let's see so what happens in the next example is that we have i is equal to 0 we go i minus minus till i is greater than minus 10 and we see that 0 minus 1 minus 2 till minus 9 is printed so this is also simple so next we see some more variation so one variation is that okay so we cannot give any initialization initialization comes here so we don't have to initialize again until i is greater than or equal to 2 so i do i slash equal to 2 which means i is equal to i divided by 2 so this is basically so we start from 256 so i is initially 256 now what happens is that we keep on dividing it by 2 so now it becomes 128 then 64 then 32 16 8 4 and then what happens so we see and because we have a equal to so it also becomes 2 and then it prints all of these but when 2 is again divided by 2 it becomes 1 now i is not greater than equal to 2 so it comes out of the loop so we see 256 128 64 till 2 is printed so next comes we have even we can have two variables in a form so what happens here is now we have variable i and j so i is 0 initially j is 20 this is the initialization part and till i is less than j so we do one i plus plus and then j minus minus so it's like becoming i is increasing and it is going and j is decreasing and they meet at this point so i is equal to 1 initially i is 0 so it is i plus plus we do until i is less than j so initially i is 0 j is 20 then we print those values then i is equal to 1 j is 19 it is ok i is less than j it goes till here i is 6 j is 14 and we see that it goes till the finally it becomes i is 9 j is 11 so till that i is less than j after that i becomes 10 j becomes 10 so they are equal so the loop comes out so this was about the for loop and we got some knowledge about how to use for loops so this ends our lecture on for loops